very cool to know that in a few hours this place is gonna be underwater. We're Matt and Carla, a Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds, sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on earth. Welcome to New Brunswick. We're here to explore the Fundy Trail Parkway. We actually just arrived, but right outside the Fundy Trail Parkway is the St. Martin Sea Caves. And we were told we shouldn't miss these. And now that it's low tide, you actually get the chance to walk in. I actually went and got my sandals so I can actually go in the caves. It's very cool to know that in a few hours, this place is gonna be underwater. Most people just stop at the main sea cave, but we were told to come around the corner because it gets extra beautiful, and this is what we found. We're now officially inside the Fundy Trail Parkway, a 30 kilometer parkway that hugs the southern coastline of New Brunswick and the Bay of Fundy. This actually was completed in 2020. It took 25 years and $20 million to finish this. And last year in 2021, they also added a connector that allows you to go all the way from here through Fundy National Park to Alma, where you can continue on to other famous attractions such as Hopewell Rocks and Cape and Rage. So this is a really beautiful piece of New Brunswick and we're really excited to explore it. There's lots of hiking trails, lots of waterfalls. We can't wait to see it all. And right now we're at the first stop, Fox Rock. I know that this is just the start of the parkway, but so far this Melvin Beach Lookout Point is our favorite view. And someone said that if you walk for 15 minutes, you can go down to the beach. There's not a clear sign, but he said it's this way. So what do you say? Is it worth the hike? Well, it's very beautiful and of course it's a really different perspective being down on the beach. And look, we even got some kayakers. because it's actually a very nice waterfall and we cannot get closer. I think that they're like fixing the trail to the lookout point. Well, it's time for lunch. They're pretty heavy actually. We just picked up our lumberjack picnic. Now we just got to find a spot to eat. What do we have for lunch, baby? Well, they make it look pretty fancy, but it looks like it's a sandwich with some water, more water, and I'm guessing this is like lemonade. So yeah, this is called the Lumberjack Picnic. There's basically nowhere to eat within the Fundy Trail Parkway, but if you do want to organize this, you just have to book it 48 hours in advance and they'll have it waiting for you at the cookhouse. Now we're going to enjoy it here at Big Salmon River. Well, that was a quick visit. It's quite a small interpretive center, but it's a good place to stop. Not only can you ask them about the different trails and things to do in the area, but you can also watch a, a short movie that explains how this area, Big Salmon River, used to be home to a pretty thriving community of logging and shipbuilding all the way from the 1850s to the early 1900s. 
Well, we skip a bunch of lookout points and other small hikes because we wanted to do a longer hike and see a waterfall today. And for that, we picked the Long Beach Brook Falls Loop. Ooh, finally getting a little bit of a workout. So this loop is 2.2 kilometers and it's not quite as flat and easy as some of the other trails we've been doing. It's a little more uneven, uphill, and that's probably why they have it ranked as an in in intermediate hike. But you'll notice these blue uh, diamonds all over the place to help guide you on the path. Well, the way back to the car seems a little easier, so far anyways, and luckily the Smurfs have been leaving us a trail the whole way back. We can actually hear cars right now, so I'm pretty sure we're getting close. Now the trail is getting interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> it's muddy there. Well, we finally made it back to our car. It took about an hour exactly. It's about 20 to 7 right now, so thankfully during the busy summer months, the park is actually open from 8 to 8 because in other times of the year they're only open till 5 and I've heard they close the gates so you want to make it out by then. Thankfully that's not going to happen to us and we're going to head back to St. Martin's. We're now at the Beach Street Inn, a boutique hotel in St. Martin's. This is where we're going to be staying for the next two nights. We checked in pretty late, but thankfully our room is beautiful. We were able to have a quick shower. And as another bonus, they actually have one of the top restaurants in St. Martin's called Periwinkle. So that's where we're going to be having supper. back for day two on the Fondy Trail Parkway. So of course there's so many lookout points and hikes that we won't be able to feature on this video, but we're back to Black Point Lookout because as we were driving by, I just realized that it was a very beautiful view. And this is the map of the parkway. So yeah, there's so many lookout points. Yesterday we made it all the way to the Long Beach Brook Falls. So right now we're in number six and today we're gonna try to feature the second half of the parkway so we're gonna head back to Long Beach because right now it's low tide. Oh my god the views here are amazing and now we're ready for our first hike of the day which is gonna be the Long Beach Loop Trail which is supposed to be like a one hour hike because it's only two kilometers. I was running in the sand. It was good, but for two minutes without shoes, now my feet are full of sand. Oh, what a baby. <laughs> Well, there's a reason they call it Long Beach. It really is long. It's huge actually, but uh, we decided to do the reverse loop instead of going through the forest first, come along the beach. So now we're trying to find where the trail goes back into the forest. I mean, worst case, we'll just go back along the beach. We found a waterfall. I see a huge waterfall. Well, we still haven't found the trail that goes back up into the forest. We did come across this really cool cliff. It's pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure this is where it ends. And with the tide coming up and a lot of other things to do today, I think we're just gonna head back. These rocks look so cool, like they have green hair. <laughs> Now it's time for lunch and we were actually looking for a picnic table with a roof but we couldn't find any but anyway we have a beautiful view and this time we got the lunch for our, from our bed and breakfast the Beach Street Inn and this is so cute it comes with a blanket 
there's some water here, your backpack. And this is always a surprise because we don't know what we're getting for lunch. So let's see. <gasps> Baby bells. Looks good. Some wraps. Some cookies. Oh my god, an apple. An orange. Pickles. Oh, I lost one apple. Okay, I'll, I'll get. And some crackers. And some, how you call this one? Mix. Yeah, like trail mix. Trail mix. Oh my god, this is plenty. And look at this. Even has some cups and your plates, salt and pepper. Well, we should have brought some wine. Super fancy, I know. Oh my god, this wrap is yummy. I'm sorry, but I like this, this lunch better than the one from yesterday. <laughs> Well, we pretty much made it to the last stop of the <clears throat> Fondi Trail Parkway and the last interpreter center. Unless, of course, you're coming from the east, then it's your first stop. <laughs> well, we have all the information we need, so now we're gonna start hiking to McLeod Brook Falls. It's supposed to be about an hour, an hour and a half to get there, and then we're gonna head to one of the highlights of the whole park, Walter Glen Gorge. So far the trail is super easy and it's mostly out of the sun. Yeah, which is kind of nice because we've been in the sun all day, but yeah, it is pretty easy so far, but it is supposed to be a more difficult trail. They, uh, it's like a black mark trail, so we'll see. So far it's not. <laughs> all right, well, this is where the stairs begin. I'm pretty sure she told us there's 390 of them, but it's easy because we're going down. I'm actually going to count the steps just to verify that number for you guys. Oh, 22. I think I was here, right? 22. <laughs> I think I missed already. 23, 24, 35. Not even close. 135, so we were far off. But there was a three in the count. <laughs> so maybe that's why we got confused. I think so. All waterfalls are usually very pretty, that's why we really try to see them. But this one is special, it looks very mystic, like with the black rock and the sunshine going through on the water and all the trees and the creek, it's very peaceful. Now I can see why they rank this as a more challenging. I mean, it's not that difficult, but not everyone can do this. Now the hard work is starts going uphill. Well, this is when you get the workout. Yeah. This is the only way we can lose all those extra calories we eat in this trip. Something that I really like about Fondi Trail Parkway is that all the trails are very well marked. That's something that I'm always looking forward in every single hike because we get lost pretty easily. And here is awesome. Speak for yourself. I <laughs> you get lost well, with me. This really is Carla's dream trail. <laughs> Why? Because they're very easy. I... Like with the trails marked. <laughs> Well, it was a pretty easy hike. Some challenging sections, but not really. But now we get to go see what they call the Grand Canyon of New Brunswick. So this is the Walter Glen Gorge, and it is a thousand feet across, 525 feet deep, and more than 550 million years old. It's a pretty spectacular sight to see, and in the distance, you can see the Bay of Fundy. That's it for our visit to the Fundy Trail Parkway. We had an awesome time, and I'm sure you will too if you like ocean views, hikes, beautiful nature, waterfalls. 
Yeah, and there's still so much that we missed. There's a bunch of hikes we still wanted to do, but it just gives us an excuse to come back. And I know a lot of you who watch our channel love road trips, and this is definitely one of the best road trips in Canada, even though it's just a short one. But of course you can continue on to places like St. John and Hopewell Rocks and, and places like that. So it's definitely a spectacular trip to make. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment. We always love to hear from you. And of course, to learn more about Canada and New Brunswick, visit our website at mustdocanada.com. On our way back to San Martes, we decided to stop for another view of Long Beach now that it's high tide. And we found this kind little note. Someone left a little note with a rock on it. It said, always be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. And then it says, join the kindness movement. So. That's so true. So, this is for all of you watching. 